Oh, hey guys, how you doing? I, uh, you know, after I filmed my first five things Poland does better than the United States, I finished up and then I realized I had five more. I should have just said top ten. But, uh, so anyway, I decided let's do a round two. Here are five more things Poland does better than the United States, in my opinion. And you guys let me know what you think, okay? So, with a piece of history behind me, this is a old, this is an estate from the 1930s, early 1930s, built here in Maine, that uh, people used to come up here to for, uh, of course, recreation, and just to get a break from the city life. It was mainly for their summer holidays, but I think as the years went on, uh, people would come up here also during the uh, winter holidays. But uh, with this historical site right here, I think to myself, while it's lovely, when I was traveling throughout Poland, one thing that amazed me, and maybe it's because Poland is so old, the history of the country is so old and it's varied, is Poland, you do history better than the United States. I mean, now granted, the United States has a shorter history. We've only been around for what? Uh, you know, well, as a formal country since, uh, you know, the uh, 1776. So we are very young, uh, per se. But of course, you know, you can go back and like where I grew up, um, we have homes from the 16, 1600s. And you can go down to Florida, and there are some parts of Florida that were discovered by the Spanish in the late 1500s. And then, of course, the Native Americans who have been around, you know, substantially longer. But when I think of history, I just think of the fact that, for me, when I was exploring different parts of Poland, I just felt like not only is are there a lot of historical sites to see, but the Poland has done a good job, like, labeling them. And... <laughs> So it's very easy to find. Uh, a lot of these sites are also in English, so it's very easy to read. Um, and uh, since I'm a World War I buff, World War II buff, actually anything from the 1700s on, I just, I love the immense amount of history that I can see. So from that perspective, I would just say, Poland, you have a wealth of, of that and I appreciate that. So you are better than the United States in that regard. Now, if I had actually shown more forethought, foresight, foresight, uh, I should have been filming this with a church in the background. But instead, we're on a wooded trail going down to my uh, to the beach of my uh, where I live. And uh, anyway. Uh, Having been back only a few weeks now, I find that uh, as much as I love going into my churches here and exploring them and seeing the designs and the, uh, the decorations and all that fun stuff, my, one of my most favorite things to do in Poland, in Krakow, and actually outside of Krakow, was just to go into every Catholic church that I found, um, and even some non-Catholic churches for that matter. Uh, I just loved the variety. I loved how the older the church, it seemed the more, um, I was going to say pomp and circumstance, but there's more, there's just so many different things to see from the paintings, from the murals, uh, from the type of crosses. Uh, there's just... The beauty inside the churches in Poland, I've never seen anywhere else in this world. And I used to live in the southern part of Italy, and I saw some pretty churches there. But I think just by sheer number, um, Poland, you, Poland wins for churches, for Catholic churches, if you like going into churches. I probably should also t say the same thing with the cemeteries. I really enjoyed exploring the different cemeteries. Um, well, maybe that's kind of a tie because, you know, I'm going to show you guys some cemeteries over the next few months, year, however long I'm here, and I'll show you. And 
we might find that we have a we have a push for the cemeteries. But churches, I have never found so many beautiful churches as I did in Poland. So point to you guys. Again, just something else that you went in. You'll note that today for our top five, these are more like cultural things, or they're, I think they're, well, they're, they're a lot more subjective, right? <laughs> this is Long Pond right here. This is a part of a very big lake uh, here in Maine. Uh, it's very peaceful. The air is just serene, maybe heavenly, actually. And uh, it's funny, I've not been in the lake yet. I'm going to break that. I'm going to go in tomorrow. But uh, where were we? So <laughs> first, we talked about history. I'd say, As I said, historically speaking, for me, Poland, you just have a lot more of it. So that automatically is better than the United States in that regard. Uh, number two, I said we're churches. And then number three, I'm looking at my list. I got it right here. Number three. Oh, I put down the variety of sports. Now, granted... Here in the States, we have as many sports as Poland does. But what I liked about it was it, when I was uh, living in country is I really appreciated the fact that on the news, um, I, I uh, how do I phrase this? I really appreciated that um, the pride that citizens took in any sport. It was like if Poland had a volleyball match, it would be on TV and people would be watching it. Uh, if it was the Euro League for basketball, you were watching it. If it was uh, equestrian events, if it was a skiing event, there were some like sports I never even heard of that I turned on the television on a Sunday afternoon and it was on. And as long as there was a Polish person who was participating in it, fans were rabid, they were patriotic, they were cheering on their uh, folks. And now, granted, we do cheer on our people here too, but I feel like we're more obsessed with like the, the National Football League, the NBA, Major League Baseball, National Hockey League, more of these major sports. And I felt like in Poland, there was more love shared to all sports. Uh, and for that, I will just say that Poland does a better job. Because I think, yeah, you just, there's more love shared. So it might seem a little bit weird, but that's my take. <laughs> As I walk through this forest here, I was going to say that Poland does grass better in their forest. Uh, as I look right here and I have like ferns, uh, which are fine, but we have a little bit of grass, but nothing compared to what I saw when I was exploring different parts of the uh, forest outside of Krakow. But that's not actually what this number is. I was going to say, one thing that I think culturally that I saw that's done better in Poland than in the United States is family time. The importance of family time. And I don't know, uh, I, I'm basing this strictly off of my observations when I was in Krakow, but I found like, especially on, on Sundays, it was like, because all the shops were closed, if you went for a walk, it seemed like every other family was out doing the same thing. I'm in the water. I couldn't help it. We're in, we're in. Just up to our legs. But uh, in all seriousness, though, I, I felt like when I was walking, walking around, there was a point where all I would see were families out for walks or they'd be out for bike rides, and it would be everyone. They'd even bring the dog. Um... And even when I was touring other parts of the country, I just felt like there was more of a family dynamic than there is here in the United States. That doesn't mean that we don't have families here, that we don't have um, where kids spend time with their parents and vice versa. I just, I just felt like, though, it was an observation enough when I was walking around that I was just like, I've never seen this before. Um, I remember uh, during the winter holidays and I was up in Sopot and in Gdansk and it just seemed like when you went to the beach, even though it was beginning of January, families were there. Um, and maybe that's by the design too. I mean, because of how 
I don't know. I was trying to think of a way to explain it. Maybe there's no need to to like explain it. I just found, at least in my own perspective, I felt like Polish families just seemed closer than my American counterparts. So I'd say you do that better. I would say you do lakes better, but I have yet to go to... Well, I've been to a reservoir, but I've never been to a Polish lake yet. That's on my list of things to do. But the fifth thing, and this one is part cultural, um, but it's also part historical. It's kind of a combination. And I don't think there's a discussion about this. If anyone from the states that is watching this would have to agree if they've been to these Polish Christmas markets. There is nothing in the United States that is better than what you do. Um, and noted, nope, I didn't say German Christmas markets. I'm not comparing them. I'm just saying Polish Christmas markets. From what I saw in Krakow, in Gdansk, um, and Shemish, I can't pronounce it right. In German name is Permissal. The one with the one with the P. Uh, <laughs> in uh, Wrocław, <gasps> did I say that one right? I think I did. Anyway, those Christmas markets—they're amazing. And just going out and participating and being part of that cultural exchange. Uh, there's nothing quite like it here in the United States that, that I can think of that I have experienced through the years. So I would say the Christmas markets in Poland, you defeat our Christmas markets here in the United States by default. But even if we had a Christmas market here, I don't think we would know how to put it on the way that the country of Poland does with your food, with your crafts, with all that stuff. So this might have been a different list than my first uh, five. The first five were more like practical. Uh, this five is more purely from a cultural observation aspect. So anyway, what do you guys think? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you think that I'm right about, you know, the history, the churches? Looks like a storm. Um, the family life, the sports, and the Christmas markets? Or am I missing something? And what would you put on your list? All right, I got to get out of this. Till next time. Peace.